All right, guys. I love being part of the 5 a.m. club, getting up when I can. It's hard, especially with an eight-week-old, eight but uh, she gets so much done. So I wanted to share this story in my reading with you guys. Uh, it was a story of the Chinese farmer. And basically the summary of it is, I'm going to tell you the story here, but things happen. Things happen. They're not good. They're not bad. It's how we process and view them. So it's insane because so many things are going to happen to you today. None of them, none are good, none are bad. All that it is is how you process, how you internalize it, right? So that's really something to think about. So the story of the Chinese farmer goes like this. There was a Chinese farmer who lost a horse. It ran away. All the villagers came in and they huddled around that night and said, oh, that's too bad. And the Chinese farmer said, maybe. The next day, the horse came back and it brought with it seven wild horses. And that next night, all the villagers came in, gathered around and said, wow, that's awesome. And the Chinese farmer said, maybe. Well, the next day, his son was riding one of these wild horses trying to tame it and fell off it and broke his leg. And that night, <clears throat> all the villagers came and they said, oh, that's too bad. To which the farmer replied, maybe. So the next day, the city officials came in recruiting people for war. And after looking over his son and seeing the break, broken leg, the Chinese, uh, the, the city officials told the Chinese farmer, we can't take your son, we gotta pass him over. And all the villagers came and said, oh, that's awesome, great, great job. And the Chinese farmer replied, maybe. So what I love about that story is it's so true. You, you don't know, right? Because does the son go to war and die? Or does the son go to war, become a huge hero, become a general and have a better life for it? You don't know, right? Things happen. Things are going to happen to you today. Things are happening to you right now. Things are going to continue to happen in the future. Uh, I'm sure anybody here on the, it's, it's the internet, right? So anybody could argue, oh yeah, that's true. This is an example of good. This is an example of bad. There is good and bad, but really what it comes down to is how you internalize it. So. What's, what's insane about it, right, is, and I'm going to throw this out there, you know, like what's, what's really insane about it is take, um, take one of those suicidal bombings, right, that uh, the people do on their j jihads or whatever it is. Horrible, right? And I believe it is horrible and it's bad and all that stuff. But that person who's doing it genuinely believes that it's good and that he's doing the right thing, which blows my mind. Right, because it just comes back to that example is there is no good or bad, it's what you believe and what you internalize. Right, Tony Robbins said it the best and he said it freaking awesomely. Uh, what's the difference between a surprise and a problem? A surprise is just something you wanted. A problem is something you didn't want, right? So it's, it's really insane and when I look back at it, some of my darkest, worst moments of my life and my career, have turned out to be now looking back some of the best blessings that have made me. So this video is for you people right now that are going through something super hard, super traumatic, um, something that is not easy, right? And um, I just say focus to control on what you can control, which is how you react, how you internalize, and then how you can plan and grow and learn from this. Because walk up to anybody on the street, Grab them by their shoulders. Look them in the eye and say, hey man, I heard about your problems. How are you doing? We all have them. The only people that don't have problems, they're dead in the graveyard. So live life. And I wanna end this with the Champion's Creed. I love this Champion's Creed. This has been tattooed on my heart for a while. I'm not judged on the number of times I fail. I'm judged on the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed, is directly related to the number of times I fail and keep going. I am not judged on the number of times I fail. I am judged on the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is directly related to the number of times I fail and keep going. Be a champion today.